Hello, good morning or good afternoon. Uh, my name is Cristian Rojas Vite. I work at the Escuela Superior de Huejutla from the Autonomous University of Hidalgo State. And today's topic is uh, how to introduce yourself in English. And this video is for students who are currently studying A1 English level. So here we go. With the following uh, PowerPoint slides, you will learn how to introduce yourself, especially when you speak English. Remember that when you want to start speaking this language, you have to say certain and very specific words to communicate accurately with others. What are the key words to do this activity? So basically, introduce yourself, say your presentation, the words hello and hi are very important in here. Use some personal information and of course, uh, the verb to be. Hello and welcome to this interesting presentation today. Here there is a short explanation to you on how to introduce yourself when you speak English. Basically to do this, you need to speak the language as I am doing right now. And you can start by saying this word, hello, or you can also say hi, that it means exactly the same. But let me clarify this information to you. Hello is a uh, very formal, you know, it is used in formal environments. If you want to sound polite, you can use the word hello. On the other hand, if you say hi, this may be because you are with close friends or people who really are part of your circle life. So you can say hi if you're talking with one of your friends from the classroom, if it is your classmate, if it is your brother, your sister, or maybe one of your cousins, you can say hi. That basically means exactly the same as hello, but it is more in a relaxed way. Right now, I have an example for you who is watching uh, this video. You can say, hello, my name is Christian, or you can also say, hi, my name's Christian. But right here, if you notice, we're using a contraction. Instead of saying name is, I'm using the contraction in this names. Hi, my name's Christian. Or you can also say, hello, good morning, I am Christian or hi there, I'm Christian. So if you pay really attention to this presentation, you can observe that we can use contractions in English. And you know what? Contractions are very easy to use. They are very simple. Just pay attention when you can use a contraction. Right now here, it is in bold, it's in the black letters. You can say the contractions right there. So now let's practice. What is your name? You say, my name is, complete this question, right? Or what's your name? I am. So now let's practice once again. I'm going to ask you the question. Remember at home, when you're watching this video, answer the question. What is your name? My name is, what is your name? I am, yeah, very good. Yes, you are practicing English and this is very important for you who wants to improve your English level. Let's continue with the following uh, slide. In English, you will need to say also, where are you from? That means the place where you come from. For example, hello, I am from Wajuta. Hello. I'm from Pachuca. Hi, I am from Tulancingo. If you observe right here, I am using the place or the name of the place where I live or where I am from in this case. So if I ask you the question, where are you from? I am from, and you mention a place. Remember, right here, I am using also the contraction with the birth to be. 
instead of saying I am, it can be reduced to I'm, which is a simple form to say the, the same words. So once again, practice with the question. Where are you from? I am from, you mentioned the place. Excellent, yeah, you are practicing English right now. In English, uh, you will also need to say the place where you live, that it is the place where you are at uh, right now or in this moment. For example, I live in Pachuca. I live in Actopan. I live in Guajutla. Where do you live? I live in, you mentioned the place where you live. So once again, practice with a question. Where do you live? You say, I live in, and you mentioned this city or the place. So don't worry. In English, we always use the same names or the same information about the place. So you, you need to use exactly the words that you know about your city or your hometown. In English, you need to say some personal information as your age. So please here, pay special attention when you use the verb to be. For example, it says, I'm 15 years old. I'm 16 years old. We can use a contraction here too. So when we ask this question to you, how old are you? I am 15 years old. I am 16 years old. I am 20 years old. But please do not say I have 15 years old. This is incorrect. And it's a very common error for students or for people who are just learning English. Remember, when somebody is asking you this question, how old are you? Please reply, I am, then say your, your age, at least. Yeah. How old are you? I am 20 years old. Thank you. So pay special attention in this uh, PowerPoint slide. In a short English conversation between people, you can start a conversation and you can use some of these interactions. Basically, here we have three people who are uh, talking to each other. We have this short dialogue. There is one, uh, Jennifer and Carlos. And if you read this example, it says, hello, good morning. What is your name? Hello, good morning. My name is Jennifer. Excuse me, who is your friend? Oh, this is my friend, Carlos. Hi, Jennifer, nice to meet you. Hello, Carlos, nice to meet you too. This is a very common interaction between people that they don't know to each other and they start using English to communicate. Remember, English is very useful for you, especially if you use it to communicate with other people. You can exchange information. Right? So please, in your class, practice with the person who's next to you, with your classmate, and use one of these lines to interact with each other. Also, when you're having an English conversation between two or three people or more, you can ask some questions related or regarding to personal information to interact with each other. Look at the example, please. Hello, Jennifer. Where are you from? I'm from Pachuca, and you? I'm from Huejutla, but I live in Pachuca. In this short example, we have two people who were interacting to each other, exchanging some personal information. Remember, these are basic questions that we can also use every single time when you are interacting with new people that you don't know. So let's practice. So far, we have learned during this video how to introduce in English to another person. Remember uh, that the most important part of this uh, video is 
practice. So practice every single day. Remember that you can practice with the classmates you are close to. And that's all for today. Thank you so much. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Remember, my name is Christian Rojas Vite. I work at the Escuela Superior de Huajutla from the Autonomous University of Hidalgo State. And if there are any questions about this video, here you have my personal email. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye for now. Este video es presentado por el Sistema Ciencia Garza Educativa de la Universidad Autónoma del Estado de Hidalgo.